Welcome to the Elementary Grading and Reporting EIA Regulation Presentation. It is important to know that the NEISD grading philosophy complies with 28.0216, must require a classroom teacher to assign a grade that reflects the student's relative mastery of an assignment, may not require a classroom teacher to assign a minimum grade for an assignment without regard for a student's quality of work. Will allow a student a reasonable opportunity to make up or redo a class assignment or examination for which the student received a failing grade. Helps the teacher communicate progress to the student, parent or guardian on the mastery of TEKS. Appraises the effectiveness of teaching strategies and modes of instruction. Evaluate strengths and needs of each student. Determines if credit will be rewarded. When determining student grades, the teacher must remember that the student's demonstration of mastery of the instructional expectations as aligned in the Texas Essential Knowledge and Skills TEKS, for grade level subjects or courses shall be the major factor in determining the student's grade for a subject or course. Progress of students in pre-K and K will be reflected on the NEISD checklist. Progress of students in grades 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th will be reflected on the NEISD report card. No single grade will count more than 20% of the nine weeks average or the semester average. A minimum of nine grades will be recorded per quarter. The foundation curriculum includes English, language arts reading, mathematics, science, and social studies. A student's academic grade will not be affected by non-academic behavior or adherence to procedural rules. When applying grades to students who are identified in special populations, there are factors to consider. Grades for students in special education will be based on performance that demonstrates progress toward the mastery of TEKS following the application of the ARD recommended accommodations indoor modifications intended to increase the potential for successful student learning. All students in special education will have access to the content standard TEKS for their appropriate grade level. For students in 504 and dyslexia programs, students identified for dyslexia programs who are served through Section 504 or other students identified as Section 504 will be graded as all other general education students with appropriate accommodations identified through their individual dyslexia plans. For bilingual and English as a Second Language programs, English language learners Students should not have failing grades based only on their inability to speak English. ELL students are not exempt from grades. ELL students must receive the appropriate linguistic accommodations as determined by the campus LPAC. For students in gifted and talented programs, GT students are not required to complete lessons, activities that take place in their homeroom classroom when they are attending their GT classes. However, GT students will be responsible for all content assessments. GT students should not be kept from attending the GT class in order to complete any assignment activity required by their homeroom teacher. GT students may be required to complete homework assignments. When reteaching, retesting, and reassessment, Remember, the district's goal is for every student to master all the TEKS specified for each grade level at a minimum of 70%. If a student does not receive a passing grade on the concepts and skills specified in the TEKS and necessary for future learning, reteaching, redoing assignments, retesting, and or reassessment will be provided for the student until the material has been assessed summatively. Teachers will monitor and identify students who need reteaching. 
Teachers will provide reteaching when necessary, allowing students a reasonable opportunity to make up or redo a class assignment or assessment for which the student received a failing grade. A maximum grade of 70% will be recorded when redoing, retesting, and or reassessment for a failing grade. Reteaching will employ instructional strategies different from the original instruction. When reporting grades, it is the teacher's responsibility to remember that all grades are required to be recorded in the electronic gradebook within seven calendar days of the due date. Progress reports must be issued to parents, guardians, during the third week of a nine-week grading period if the student has an average below 70 in any subject area, first through fifth grade, or is not meeting grade level expectations, pre-kinder and kinder. Progress reports must be issued to all parents, guardians, during the sixth week of the nine-week grading period. Teachers will verify and edit student grades prior to the exporting of grades so that the student's accurate average is printed on the progress report or report card. All elementary employees are required to understand and follow EIA regulation, elementary grading and reporting. The entire regulation can be located at the following link.